Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Lucy and I share all sorts of different videos. Uh, day in the life videos, weekend vlogs, kind of chatty videos on different topics, hauls, and at the moment, pregnancy videos. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my 17 week pregnancy update. Okay, so I'm checking in with you today. I know that I originally said I was gonna check in with you at 16 weeks, but the reason I'm checking in with you now is because yesterday I had my 16 week checkup with the midwife. Basically, because when I had my dating scan, they moved me by a week. I already had my 16 week appointment booked in, so my 16 week appointment ended up being at 17 weeks and I thought rather than sitting down and chatting about nothing particularly new, I would wait until I'd had my appointment with the midwife and then I could talk about that with you as well. So how am I doing at 17 weeks pregnant? Basically, I'm completely kind of symptom free at the moment, which is brilliant. If you've followed my other kind of pregnancy updates, you'll know that I have been very lucky with this pregnancy. I have not had any sickness. I've not really actually had any not very nice symptoms. And I was looking back at some of my updates from when I had both of the girls' pregnancies. So I've got blog updates from when I had Everly and then I've got vlog updates from when I had Quinn. And with both of them, I definitely just had a lot more kind of stuff going on and I feel like I've been really lucky this time. Honestly, didn't record Dylan's, don't really remember. <laughs> a long time ago now. But I kind of had bad hair, like real kind of like greasy and then really like straw-like hair. I think that was with Everly. I was really spotty with Quinn. I had horrendous nausea with Quinn and sickness with Quinn. And I've not actually had anything really, which has been really nice. And now, even the tiredness, which was basically the one symptom I have suffered with this pregnancy, even that seems to be waning, which is really nice. I'm back to kind of going to bed at a normal time, not having to go to bed at like half past eight. I'm definitely back to kind of getting out of bed with a bit more energy in the morning, which is definitely making life a lot easier. So at 17 weeks, I basically just feel great really which is a nice place to be having obviously just said that i feel really great i have had a stinking horrible well not just one stinking horrible cold i have basically over the past three weeks bounced from one lurgy to another so i started off with a chesty cough that just about started to go away and then i got a sickness bug which wiped me out for about three days and i felt awful and then i just started feeling better again and then I got a horrendous cold, which is still kind of hanging around, which is why I sound a bit congested and a bit snotty and nasally, which I know is very nice, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better now. Sleep-wise, I'm still sleeping really well. I'm trying to kind of heed all those warnings, making sure I go to sleep on my side. The moment I keep ending up on my tummy, at the moment I still don't have a real proper bump to speak of. So I'm basically decided I'm gonna make the most of sleeping on my tummy while it lasts, because I know that probably in another month's time, when I can't sleep on my tummy, I'm going to really miss it. So yeah, basically, I'm sleeping well, and I'm symptom free, and just feeling pretty good about stuff. The main kind of thing that I guess has happened in the past, well, obviously yesterday, but since my last videos, I obviously had my next check in with my midwife. Um, that's the 16 week check, which for anybody that doesn't know, tends to be the check when you get to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time, which is right up there for me alongside the dating scan as being a real kind of important milestone, I think. So Rich came along this time because he obviously had to miss our scan. So he came along to hear the heartbeat and it's just such, it's weird that what is just essentially a sound can be so incredibly comforting and nice to hear. I had my normal checks where they kind of check your blood pressure, which mine is still really quite low, um, and your urine, and they kind of chat, and they chatted through all the blood tests that I had at the last appointment, and everything's all fine and looking really good at the moment. And then the midwife got me to lie down on the bed so that she could obviously have a feel around and see how things are going. Um, one thing that she did say to me, which is kind of, flagged up for me because I know this was definitely the case with all my pregnancies she kind of went to start sort of feeling my tummy and she said 
by the time we expect the baby, the top of the uterus to be at about the navel, so the belly button, at 20 weeks, she said, oh, but yours is already there, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, okay, so clearly we're gonna play this game again. For anybody that doesn't know, with my previous three pregnancies, I have always, when they start measuring the height, is it the height of the fundus? Basically, they use tape measure to measure basically from your pelvic bone to the top of your uterus, and it should be the same in centimeters as it is in weeks, once you get to 26 weeks, I think. And with all of mine, I've historically measured as being further ahead. And none of my babies have been particularly big. And basically, the midwife last time said, it's just because you're relatively narrow. And what happens is that your uterus, rather than being at circular, is kind of a bit more sort of sausage shaped. So clearly, I'm going to follow that pattern again. And I'm going to, the fact that I'm already as far as the midwife was concerned, measuring a couple of weeks higher on the bump than they would expect me to. Kind of says it all really. But anyway, she felt along and she found where baby was and almost straight away she could get the heartbeat on the Doppler and she sat with it for ages so that we could have a listen. And she said that it was very strong and very clear and it sounded really, really great, which is obviously just really, really nice to hear. One thing that I do have to say is I thought listening to the heart rate they sounded quite fast comparatively to kind of what I have known of heartbeats in the past. And I do know it's a bit of an old wives tale, but that faster heart rates, they tend to equate to girls. So that is the first kind of maybe kind of inclination that way that I've maybe heard that this baby might be a girl. Having said that, the whole thing I was saying about hair feeling, hair feeling really good, skin feeling really good, that definitely shouts boy for me because that was how I was with Dylan and not with the girls. So I'm, I've got all those kind of like different old wives tales going around in my head. Maybe what I should do is I should sit down and I should do kind of a video. Would people like to see that where I kind of like compare the different old wives tales? Because I think from once I can remember, I haven't done any proper research and had a look properly. But from what I can remember of different ones, I'm probably 50-50 down the middle. I really don't, like, they're not helping me at all with predicting what this baby is. But maybe I will have a sit down and do that if that's something you'd like to see. So let me know in the comments if you would. I still wouldn't say that I particularly have a very big bump to speak of. I'll stand up in a minute and I'll show you. I still think that it doesn't really look like a bump. I just feel like I look maybe a bit rounder than normal in the tummy area, but I don't even really mean rounder. I just kind of feel like I look like I'm thicker. Generally, I wouldn't necessarily say that it looks like a bump particularly yet, but I definitely, I definitely know it's there. And by the end of the day, I definitely feel like it looks a lot more bumpy than it does at the beginning of the day. And I have, in the last week, Notice myself doing that absent-minded like belly stroking, which I know something that I don't, I've done with all of them and kind of been suddenly very aware that I'm suddenly stroking my belly. I am now starting to wear maternity jeans, mainly because they're comfier than normal jeans and I'm finding by the end of the day that normal jeans were kind of digging in a bit at the bottom of my tummy. And also, because I have got over the bump maternity jeans and because the weather has turned quite cold, it's quite nice to have that bit of extra kind of insulation around the middle. So yeah, I have cracked out the maternity jeans mainly for comfort's sake and for warmth's sake, um, but I can definitely get away with kind of normal tops, although I am wearing a maternity top today, but yeah, I could basically still be wearing normal tops, I think, if I wanted to. I am definitely, I'm gonna call it, I'm definitely feeling wriggles now. I think I was feeling the beginnings of kind of pops and wriggles and giggles from about 12 weeks and I know that's really really early and I also know that when I did my 14 week update video I said that I was pretty sure I could feel baby then but if you look at all the textbooks they'll tell you that 14 weeks is too early. Now at 17 weeks is definitely not too early and they will tell you that most people can start to feel the baby between 16 and 20 weeks and the mums that are kind of on their second, third, or in my place, fourth time, will tend to feel that sooner, because you know what you're feeling for. Um, it definitely feels very different to how it did with Dylan and Everly, because with Dylan and Everly, they both had posterior placenta, and I almost, you could almost feel like pokey bits of like arm and leg a bit more, whereas this time it's more, I can almost feel like motion, it's kind of like something's flipping over inside, 
is not something that I feel all the time. It's something that I kind of have to do at the moment, sit down, concentrate, and I feel it. I tend to find that what I'm doing is I'm going to bed a little bit early and I'm just kind of getting ready for bed and then I'm lying down for a bit and I'm putting my hands on my tummy and closing my eyes and kind of concentrating and I tend to be able to feel the baby then kind of just a little bit wriggling right before I go to bed which is really nice to kind of take that little bit of time right before I go to bed to kind of focus on the pregnancy and on the baby and kind of have that little bit of like bonding time I guess. Yeah I'm definitely not feeling it all the time at the moment I'm not even necessarily particularly aware most of the time that I'm pregnant it would be very easy to forget most of the time that I am um but yeah it is definitely nice to be feeling those sort of early wriggles and I know that the kids now are really looking forward to the point where they can start to feel them too so I do keep saying it's going to be another couple of weeks yet before they'll get to feel anything but it is definitely very comforting alongside that whole hearing the heartbeat it's very comforting to start feeling those movements just to know that everything is okay i would definitely say that as much as i know i've just said i forget most of the time that i'm pregnant i feel like i'm more anxious this pregnancy than i have been previously i'm very anxious about things going wrong, things being wrong with the baby, things going wrong with me. I think it's a combination of the fact that I'm a little bit older, the fact that this is a fourth baby after three healthy babies and I feel a little bit like I'm tempting fate. I also think that when you essentially live a bit of an online life like I do and you are in contact with lots of different sorts of families and I just think you're more aware of some of those stories that happen that perhaps you'd be sheltered from if you weren't online so much so i i am very maybe anxious isn't quite the right word but i'm very conscious of the fact that i feel like i've tempted fate a little bit and i am very worried about things kind of going wrong or being wrong and at the same time knowing that there is absolutely nothing i can do about that and i just have to embrace it and enjoy it and kind of go with every day and kind of cross everything that everything is going to be okay really. I don't really think there's anything in particular that would help me with any of that really. I just think it's something that I'm going to have to work through or that I'm just going to have to deal with for the next five months until there's a baby here. And then let's be honest, even when the baby's here, the worrying doesn't stop then, does it really? You just start worrying about a whole new load of things. So at 17 weeks, baby is about the size of a pomegranate, or as somebody told me, it's about the size of your palm, about five inches. So that's a pretty good size now. Baby's brain has now taken control of baby's heartbeat. Up until this point, apparently, baby's heartbeat is quite kind of sporadic and kind of not particularly in a necessary rhythm, and it's a bit all over the place. But now baby has got sufficient brain power that they are now controlling and regulating that heart rate. Which I know kind of, obviously our bodies have to learn to do these things, but there is something about the fact that we take for granted, don't we, when we're walking around, the fact that our brains are regulating our heartbeats for us all the time. We just don't even think about it, it's just happening. And there is something really nice about knowing that those kind of core essential survival things baby is starting to do now. It's just me that thinks that's really cute. I just think that's quite exciting. Um, baby is also, up until this point, baby skeleton has been largely like it's cartilage, it's like soft bone, but it's now starting to turn into that harder bone, like proper bone, like a proper skeleton, which is also quite exciting. And the development that has definitely excited my kids and me probably most in the last couple of weeks is the fact that baby's senses are developing so they can now kind of sense changes in light they can taste things in the um, amniotic fluid they can feel things but what is probably most exciting is that they can now hear stuff so they can now hear things that are going on in the outside world which means that the kids now love talking to my belly and saying hello I also like the fact that now when I'm sat down reading a story with all three of the kids I'm actually reading a story with all four of the kids, which is just so damn cute. And I just like the fact that 
this tiny little baby that is obviously going to land in a whole world of crazy as part of a family of six, they were already getting used to the kind of noise and the crazy that is our family and the fact that by the time baby's born, obviously my voice and Rich's voice will be very familiar, but so will the kids' voices and I just, I just really like that. Plus, I'm starting baby's musical education and hoping that, you know, by listening to some really good tunes in the car, we can brainwash baby into having mummy's taste in music nice and early on. So I guess all that is left to do now is to show you the bump. Okay, so as I said, I am rocking the nice maternity jeans now. But if we have a look, I mean, yeah, you can see there's a little podgy there. So if you look at it, I've got layers and layers of clothes because it's so gold. Do you see what I mean about, I think, if you didn't know that I was pregnant, I'm still not convinced that you would know. Look at this very attractive line from my jeans. It's definitely rounder here, but I still don't particularly think it looks massively like a bump. So I think that is it for this week. I probably won't check in again now until after my 20 week scan because that's only in a few weeks now um, and yeah I should have more stuff to talk about because we will have had all of the anomaly scans and all the kind of everything and all those sorts of checks might well be checking in with agenda for you still not really sure about that one thanks so much for watching and I'd love you to carry on following this journey with us so if you want to please do make sure that you subscribe and that you tick the bell so that you don't miss these videos as they go live and I will see you again for another video very soon bye <laughs>